now movie and TV work in Hollywood and right here in Atlanta is at a halt as actors and writers continue to strike. The Writers Guild of America is currently reviewing a counter proposal from studios as their strike has now surpassed 100 days. Joining me this morning is Sylvia Jones, who has written for shows on Showtime and Stars, just to name a few. Sylvia, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming in. Talk to me about what this strike has meant for you and your fellow writers and where things stand right now. Well, I mean, what it means for us, I mean, it's hard and it's heartbreaking. I mean, we don't want to be on picket lines. We want to be in writers' rooms. I mean, period. Um, and right here in Atlanta, there's so much production. All of those people want to be on set. They want to be working. That's, that's, we're living our dream. That's what we want. But we have to get a fair contract. We have to get, um, we have to get an end to this, uh, to this issue. And until that happens, we're staying the course. And 100 days, 100 plus days is a long time. You're feeling it. Yeah, we're feeling it. And, and the thing is, it's the ripple effect. It's not just the writers. I mean, I could stand here selfishly and say, oh, well, I want to get back to work. But it's not just writers, it's, it's makeup people, it's focus pullers, it's, you know, the lighting people, it's everybody. It's the restaurants and hotels and so forth that are also supported by the industry. Um, it, it, there's an economic impact to everybody and everybody should care about this. This, this matters. What is your ultimate hope for the end of this strike? What kind of deal do you want to see? A fair one. I mean, to, to, to be very serious. Um, we, there are some serious issues that are on the table that are kind of nine starters. I mean, one, we have to get fair wages as it relates to residuals for streaming. Um, the, the television model has changed tremendously over the years, and we have to make sure that our contracts reflect that. Um, we also have to have protections from AI. I mean, nobody is saying AI is not going to be a part of the industry. It's a part of the world. It's here. You know, we aren't going to get rid of it. But there's a difference between using a AI as a tool and having AI as a replacement. And um, we want to make sure that we protect ourselves um, in that contract. And then there are concerns about just making sure that there are enough writers to do the work that is supposed to be done. Fair working conditions, basically. I mean, when you think about it, a lot of our issues, they may seem very specific in terms of our industry, but it's the same thing. It, this is hot labor summer. I mean, it's the same thing that all of the other workers are asking about um, and, and striking about quite, quite, you know, it's fair working conditions. It's you know, more generous pay. It's, you know, all of those things that make it, um, that, that make you feel like you are getting um, what you put into the work. I mean, that you are getting a fair and equitable um, outcome from the work that you are creating. And in the meantime, while all this is happening, you are still dedicated to helping other writers. You are holding a workshop coming up in Chicago, but people from Atlanta are heading out there. Yes. Tell me about this and how people can get involved. It's the Sounds Like Joy Writers Retreat and Workshop. Um, last year was our first year doing it. We had several people from Atlanta uh, come out uh, to Chicago and join us, and we already have people from Atlanta um, registered now. And it's basically set specifically to pe for people who want to be writers. I mean, believe it or not, as, as rough as, uh, you know, we're having it right now as writers, it is still a wonderful job. It's a wonderful business. I mean, you get to create content, and if that is the kind of thing that's burning in your soul, that you want to get it out on the page and into the world. But so many people don't know how to do it. Oh, they absolutely. don't know how to get started. Um, and, and they're looking for that entry. They're looking for somebody to tell them how to, where to start. Well, I say start here. So um, I'm a person who's a career changer. I was a journalist for many, many years. Yes. And when I decided to you know, take that leap of faith and go into the Hollywood industry, I didn't have much of a roadmap. I'm trying to make a roadmap for other people. So aspiring writers, people who want to find themselves in the writer's, writer's room, because this, this strike won't last forever. And we will be victorious. We will get a better contract, better wages, all of those things. I'd like for the doors to swing open and some of those people who want it to be on the other side to be prepared, prepared. Yes, um, ready to go when, when, it, when the time is when there. Time and we hear comes. from people time and time again, I'm interested in this, but how do I get started? Yes, and they have exactly. no idea exactly. where to go or who to turn to. And you are a really good person to guide them in that direction. I, Sylvia I, I Jones. I want to do my part. Thank you so much. Welcome Thank in. You. We will get all of the information posted on AtlantaNewsFirst.com and our news app so you can read more about Sylvia's background and that upcoming workshop out in Chicago if you'd like to book a flight and go visit. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so, much so much for coming in. All right, Courtney.